Hello everybody. I've got a Blade 200 QX and uh, I kind of customized mine a little bit. Chopped up a, an old Vista canopy, added a little personality to it, and uh, put a couple other little stickers on there so I can see it a little better and kind of break up the monotony of that all white. So what I've figured out is a little trick to program it for doing flips. And I'm using the uh, Spectrum DX6 radio. And right off the bat, the first thing I changed in the programming was instead of using the B switch, which is your gear switch, for going toggling from the three flight modes, I reassigned the gear switch to the D switch. And the reason I did that is because for me, when I'm flying, this switch is easier easier to access I'm getting tongue tied <laughs> and it's a longer switch and it's easier for me to find without looking then you would think that would be simple enough but I guess I'm more coordinated with my thumb so that was the first thing I did the second thing I figured out is I wanted a way to go be able to go into agility mode and get out of agility mode quick and easy a fail proof way to get in it in and out of agility mode so what I did is you go into your function list and go down to mixing okay the very first custom mix right here you have to zoom up on that is I is the master gear is the slave I is the trainer button it's a push on release off so you come in and you activate it and then make I the master gear the slave then on the next line down there's zero percent and then 100 percent all the way to the right and there's zero offset the switch this function becomes active when you turn the radio on and that's all you have to do now even if you still have your mode select on this switch here it'll still be the same programming here gear it's just I've just reassigned the D switch to be the gear switch so it doesn't matter which switch you have it on however you like it this little mix right here will stay the same so I'll plug a battery up into the quadcopter and I will explain how this works. Okay, right now it's in stability, low angle. Okay, now the normal switch still works, so one click down, now it's in stability, high angle. And one more click down, we'll put it into agility mode. Okay, to get out of agility mode, I have to manually flick the switch back up or go back up to stability low angle. Now what this does is when I push this button, it will bump it up to the next flight mode from where it's currently at. So if I'm in stability low angle and I push the button, it will push it into stability high angle. And when I let go of the button, it goes back to stability low angle. So if I start with the switch in stability high angle, I push the button, it goes into agility mode. When I let go of the button, it goes back to stability high angle. If I'm in, st mode. If I'm in agility mode and push the button, it doesn't do anything. You got to manually get your butt back out of agility mode. It, this only works if you're in stability high angle. You can go into agility mode by pushing the button and you can get out of it by letting go of the button. For me, if I get into a panic, it's easier for me to just let go of stuff than it is to try to find what damn switch to click and get it back into a safe mode before it hits the ground. My brain doesn't process shit that fast. I'm too old for this. <laughs> So, I will show you how it works in the air. And also, there's something else. 
these things are notorious for just dropping out of the sky for no reason and the consensus on this seems to be that everybody thinks that the antenna wire on the circuit board on the receiver board inside is touching the receiver board and shorting something out and my son has one of these and he had one do it and Horizon ended up just swapping it out for him but we thought we had fixed it but what his was doing is he was just flying along and all of a sudden it would just the motors would shut off it would drop if he punched the throttle to full throttle it would climb out so he had full throttle just nothing below full throttle and the other thing that we found was the electronics are exposed back here and right here under the battery as they are up front and your battery balance plug has three terminals that are exposed there so when you put your battery in I put a piece of index card in here to cover up all the electronics and just secured it one little piece of tape there at the front when you put your battery in the battery the connector on the drone is on this side put your battery con connector on the opposite side slide it in so now your your connectors come from across from each other and they're all bunched up on one side but when you connect this connect it stuff it in and then put this in last that way there's no chance that this is going to work its way up in there and touch anything electronic and so far I haven't had any problems with mine knock on wood I'm probably gonna crash it right now <laughs> all right so we'll plug it in let it initialize Oh, it would probably help if, uh, no, the radio is on. Sorry, so why is it not initializing? All right, let's try this again. All right, plug it in. There we go. All right, it's in stability, low angle. So when you, when you plug the battery in, have it sitting right side up. So, because if you have it upside down, plug the battery in, and then flip it over, chances are you may knock the calibration off. Let it initialize when it's sitting perfectly still. Then you can flip it over, stuff your battery wire in, <clears throat> then put your balance plug in on top of that. Look at my hand shaking. No wonder I can't fly 3D. All right, so now it's ready to go. So we'll start out in stability low angle. Ability high angle. Agility. There's agility mode. All right. High now stability high angle. Push the button. Agility mode. Do my flip. Let go of the button. Get out and, it, and then it self levels. So you can do flips like a pro with this setup. People think you're good. <laughs> but in reality, you're like me. You're not really that good. <laughs> All right. So we'll start the motors up. We're going to start out in stability high angle because it's pretty windy out here. And uh, we got about 10 or 15 miles an hour wind and it's gusting really bad. So. And also when you're doing flips, make sure you have your dual rates in high rate. Otherwise it's just going to do a, a slow flip or a slow roll. So do them in high rates, make it do the flip really quick. Once you commit to doing a flip, do it. Don't kick it out, just do it. And the way to do it is when you go up, get it into a hover, get it steady, then give it a little bit of throttle. You want to do your flips slightly climbing so it recovers good. Get it into agility mode by pushing the button, do your flip, and then let go of the button. And then it will self level. There we go. Ready to catch it with the throttle when you come out of the flip. Front flip. 
do a backflip. When I do backflip, sometimes it turns a quarter of a turn. Pretty bad now, yeah. Well, there you have it. It's almost like having an auto flip button. And even if you're not comfortable flying around in agility mode, you can still do your flip. And you see how much the wind is blowing. Look how it's drifting away. Right. One more. We'll do one more flip. Do a little throttle. Hit it and then catch it with the throttle on the outside of the flip. Take it up a little bit. We'll do a slow flip. There we go. All right. So anyway, there's how it works. If I can do it, you can do it. So let me know if this helps out for you. If you have any questions, just uh, post it in the comment section and I will answer any comments. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.